Hi, this is John from Chicago, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm bringing you the UZ um, 70 or 80. Uh, this is a uh, small 1S toothpick. It's uh, very similar to the Mobilite 7, which was one of my favorite tiny whoops. Um, it has the same motors. It has the uh, 0802 uh, by 19,000 kV motors running a 40... Um, millimeter long uh, prop uh, by bladed prop. Props are a little different. They don't have the hole in the center and it looks like they're a little bit larger pitch. Um, but the motors are the same. The flight control board's a little different. This is the same flight control that's in the Mobula 6. This is the uh, F4 Lite. And the camera is the same. This is a Runcam uh, Nano 3 camera. And uh, this uh, comes in pieces. Uh, motor, everything plugs in. It takes about 20 minutes to put together. Uh, so you plug the motors, you screw the motors on, and then they plug in the flight control board. The flight control board is held on with four uh, screws. The four screws go through the carbon frame. There's a nut on it to secure it. Then there's a rubber grommet that holds the flight control board in place. Then the canopy, and then another nut on top. So that arrangement on all four corners really hold this together nice. Uh, there is two of the motors are a little different. They're clockwise and two counterclockwise. They have a red dot on the white plug for the uh, motors that are in position one. If the camera is facing up this would be motor one and four. So they go one, two, three, four and these two would have the red dots on them. Uh, if you do it wrong, um, you could always reset the, uh, reverse the motors and make it right. The other thing that I noticed when putting this together was they said the props spin out or reversed, and when I actually tried it out, they're, they're not, so you need to change that in beta flight is uh, uh, um, put the normal direction for the spinning of the props. So overall, it was quite easy to put together. I think it takes about 20 minutes. And the thing flies great. I'm going to do a um, thrust test to see how much power it has. Then I'm going to do a range test to see how far it'll go before it drops. And then an indoor and outdoor uh, speed test across, around these little uh, two tracks that I have. Um, so let's get started. UZ80 all up weight or dry weight is 20.5 grams. UZ80 all up weight uh, 300 milliamp hour battery 28.2 grams. UZ80 thrust test 75 77 UZ80 all up weight 360 or 650 milliamp hour battery 36.1 grams UZ80 650 milliamp hour battery 108 110 I just finished up the thrust test and you can tell the larger battery uh, put out more thrust uh, but the power to weight ratios were pretty even when you take in the uh, extra weight of the uh, battery. Um, I like flying it with a smaller battery it's a little bit more nimble uh, that's what I enjoy but mo I think most of my viewers here will like the bigger battery. Uh, now I'm doing a range test here and the camera looks quite good. Um, I'm trying uh, to see if I could make the fence at the far side of the playground or park, which is at 300 meters. Right now I'm up to 165 meters and it's going quite well. It's beginning to break up a little bit with the VTX, um, but still not too bad. Um, the uh, I'm coming up to the 200 meter mark uh, right on this sidewalk here um, is right there is 200 meters 
and it ends up making it to that tree or just past that tree by about 10 meters, which would be 230 meters. The uh, Mobula 6 made it a little bit further, 260 meters, but I think that was because the uh, carbon fiber frame um, blocked some of the signal. It did have an SPI uh, RX failure uh, that caused it to go down. Now I'm doing um, indoor lap speed testing, uh, and it was quite good. It averaged uh, 8.7 seconds per lap uh, for three consecutive laps. Uh, my tiny whoops, my best one was um, Mobilite 6, was at 8 seconds so it's only a partial second off and for the outdoor track it, this was tied for the fastest time uh, I'm averaging uh, 10.3 seconds per lap uh, which is excellent uh, for tiny whoops um, and uh, my smaller toothpicks but uh, this is doing quite well. I am getting a little bit of jello. I think my camera mount screws weren't tightened up enough or they're beginning to strip um, because I moved it from indoors to outdoors. And when you make that change, it uh, um, the screws were tight. But uh, that was the only time that I saw the jello. Um, now I'm doing some um, acro outdoors. I'm doing um, some power loops and maybe some rolls and it seems to handle pretty good occasionally you have problems coming out at the bottom of your roll you get a little bit of law yaw washout but not it's not bad uh, overall i recommend this it's uh, very quiet it's uh, fun to fly it's very nimble um, and it's uh, quite durable i haven't broken it and uh, it's a good price um, uh, at under a hundred dollars the only flaw i think it's easy to lose outdoors especially if your grass is taller uh, so here's the spreadsheet that compares it to other tiny whoops this is a toothpick so it's not a great comparison but it shows you how it stacks up and uh, if you have any comments or questions please leave those below in the comments section and don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this and thanks for watching this is john from chicago